Here you see a formula to um, calculate capacitance and with this formula you can make a capacitor yourself. As you know a capacitor consists of two plates with something in between or air in between is also possible or nothing in between in the vacuum for instance. Um, <coughs> the material in between has a great effect on the capacitance. Um, air has a dielectric value of uh, 1 and here you see some dielectric values for materials in between the plates of paper, pertinax and glass. It's all from this book. It's a book of 1953. A little bit obsolete, but all the formulas are very exact. Um, this um, calculation um, calculates the value of capacitors in centimeter. That's very obsolete, but one picofarad is 0 0.9 centimeter. So it's easy to uh, calculate it in a modern uh, value. Here you see a capacitor I've made myself. Um, I put the values of this uh, formula in a simple basic program and um, by means of the program it's very easy to uh, construct uh, and uh, calculate a capacitor. This one is made of two copper plates. Here you see one and I've taped them on a piece of paper on both sides and it's an easy way of constructing a capacitor. I'm going to measure now the value. I put down the camera. This is my capacitance meter. It's a square wave generator with some other features and by that way you can measure the capacitance. I put down the camera now. Connect the capacitor to the meter. You see it. To the meter. And when I read the scale I can see it is approximately uh, um, 50 picofarad. The capacitor I've made. Um, hope it's better visible now. Um, here I made another capacitor. It's from double-sided copper board. Like this type, but then with two copper sides. It's easy to make. The isolation material is in between. And I'm going to connect it now. And as you can see, the capacity of this homebrew capacitor is approximately 10 picofarad. So it's easy to build your capacitors uh, by yourself. Wish you luck.